Now, next is the electromagnetic spectrum. Anyone can define what is electromagnetic spectrum? See here, the arrangement of the waves, it is defined as the arrangement of waves in their increasing order of wavelengths or decreasing order of frequency is called electromagnetic spectrum. You remember the order, first is the, you can say, if I explain in the increasing order of, increasing order of wavelengths, then first is the radio waves at the top, radio waves, then infrared, then microwaves, then visible rays, then ultraviolet rays, then x-rays, you can say x-rays, then gamma rays, and finally cosmic rays. Thus, radio waves has maximum wavelength and minimum frequency. So far as cosmic rays has, you can say, maximum frequency and minimum wavelengths. This is what it is the visible region of the light and visible region of the light is, you know very well, wave your That is what? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and the red. So, you can see violet has minimum wavelength and maximum frequency but red has maximum wavelength and minimum frequency. So far as the value is concerned in nanometer, 400 nanometer to approximately 750 nanometer in terms of the wavelength or 3600 angstrom to 7800 angstrom. So in paper you may put a question that which has maximum wavelength and minimum frequency and it's vice versa. One thing is you remember retain in your mind radio waves have maximum wavelength and minimum frequency. So far as cosmic rays have minimum wavelength and maximum frequency. More the frequency more the energy. Right now then you can say microwaves then infrared then I have written you by visible rays, ultraviolet rays, X-rays, gamma rays and cosmic rays. Now after that, we will explain, you know, Einstein's equation. Uh, sorry, Einstein equation, uh, you know, uh, Planck's quantum theory. Planck's quantum theory. Max Planck explained the all the electromagnetic waves are directly proportional to the frequency. E is directly proportional to the nu and E is equal to H into nu. What is H here? H is called as what constant? Planck's constant and its value is 6.6 .6 to 6 minus 34 joule second and you can see work done is equal to you can say joule that is the force into distance you can say force is the mass into what is that acceleration into distance is the meter mass is the kg meter second kg ms minus 2 into meter so that is what kg m2 s minus 2 now put these values in equation 1 instead of joule so 1 joule is equal to this one 
So again the Planck's constant can also be written in this dimension minus 34 kg m2 m2 s minus 2 into second and cancel out. That's why it is again 6.626 6 to 6 into 10 p power minus 34 kg m2 s minus 1 or you can say joule second. This is the unit of Planck's constant second energy emitted that is always in the discontinuous manner. Emission of means emission of radiation occurs in discontinuous manner in terms of what is that quanta or photons that is why you can say E is equal to N into H nu what is N? it is the integers it is the integers that can be 1, 2, 3 and so on energy associated with energy associated with one mole of photon is called is called Einstein's energy what energy? Einstein's energy that is the E is equal to N naught into H nu or E is equal to N naught into H into C over lambda. What is N naught? N naught is the Avogadro number 6.022 into 10 e power 23. So these are the you know, Planck's quantum theory. Energy directly proportional to the nu. Proportionality change into constant. H is the Planck's constant, value is 6.626 into minus 34 joule second and then energy emitted in a discontinuous manner in the form of heat or light, photon, quanta or massless bundle of energy. Then energy, N is the integers, energy of each photon is taken in terms of the moles, that is the Avogadro number which is also known as Einstein's energy, that is the E equal to N into H nu nu is changed into c over lambda the way you can calculate the simple numericals from your textbook now after that we will explain you can see a spectrum a spectrum different lines obtained from the molecules atoms or the radiations and absorb under high electron microscope. So a spectrum is of two types. One is the emi uh, emission and other is the absorption. Emission spectra is of two types. One is the quantity news and other is the line spectra. Continuous spectrum means that is the when any source of light is allowed to pass through the prism, the different colors are obtained, and these lines are not separated because these are so intermingled to each other, these lines are never separated from each other. The best example of the continuous spectrum is the formation of the rainbow in the rainy region. So therefore, these lines cannot be separated from each other from each other by any source right and then it is called as for example formation of what is there rainbow formation and that gives the seven color give your and you also know when the light pass through the water vapor and the dust particle that the formation of rainbow takes place it is also known as tendal effect line spectra is of two types. One is the, you can say, hydrogen spectrum. 
and other is the atomic spectrum. In case of the Hadron spectrum, that is in your slavers, and in case of the atomic spectrum, some any volatile light, volatile salt like Na, put on the burner, the different wavelengths with different colors are separated from each other, is called as, you know, line spectrum as a form of atomic spectrum. So far as hydrogen spectrum is concerned, when hydrogen gas is taken in a discharge tube apparatus, in a discharge tube apparatus, hydrogen spectrum. Hydrogen is the simplest gas, so its study is considered to be the very difficult because of even its mass is very less, it is the lightest gas in chemistry. But if you take the more heavier gases, so just to imagine how wonderful and how difficult to study the different lines. Therefore, we have taken hydrogen spectrum. Right. So hydrogen spectrum is defined as take a discharge tube apparatus connected by the two electrodes. It is the negative and other is the positive pole. Hydrogen gas is here. Hydrogen gas is taken at very low atmospheric pressure and high electric current that is 10,000 volts. So they just start the sparking and fluorescence and started sparking there. And once you place the prism in front of these rays, then the different lines are obtained on zinc sulfide a screen that is known as you can say these lines are studied by the different discoverers from time to time so these are separated from each other by their difference in their wavelengths so these are called as line spectrum and hydrogen spectrum is one of the best example to explain the line spectrum so the lead lines this side, the various lines, large number of lines are obtained, then it is known as what series? Lyman series. Now next line is the, you can say, next is the, what is the name of the series? Balmer series. Next line is the Lyman Balmer and what is there? Parson series. Then it is known as bracket Lyman Balmer Parson bracket. And that is next line is the P P fund series, and then finally these lines are very less in numbers, and still under the discovery is known as Humphrey series. One important point is that these Lyman series are observed in the ultraviolet region. These Balmer series are observed in the visible range of light and then all these are obtained as, you know, visible in infrared. It is away from the infrared, near to the infrared and again away from the, more or less we can say that, that the Bastion bracket we fund or Humphrey series are located in the invisible range of light. So, Actually, this is the hydrogen spectrum. Now, if I consider the when hydrogen gas under high electric current and low atmospheric pressure, then the electrons get excited. And since they are getting the continu continu continuous form of the energy, so once they are excited and then after some time, in a few seconds, they will come back. So various lines are obtained because of their due to the continuity of the energy. Right now, so hydrogen spectrum can also be arranged in that way also. 
these are the energy energy n equal to energy line n is equal to 1 then n equal to what is that n equal to 2 n equal to 3 n equal to 4 5 6 7 and n equal to what is that 8 so different lines are obtained which may be explained by taking two energy level one is the ground energy lower energy and other is the excited energy once i will compare compare the ground state and the excited state then obviously see if electron jumps from 8 to 1 then 7 to 1 higher to lower 6 to 1 5 to 1 4 to 1 3 to 1 and 2 to 1 how many lines are obtained? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 actually these are known as Lyman series and visible in the ultraviolet region take the other line 8 to 2 7 to 2 6 to 2 5 to 2 4 to 2 3 to 2 these are you can say Balmer series here strength in which region it is visible this is the visible region of light visible region then again 8 to you can say third 7 to third 6 and like this number of lines are reduced gradually this is the infrared region then again 8 to 4 7 to 4 and then Barber, it is known as Pastel series Pastel and this is known as what is that? Brackets and then it is called as P fund series and next is the Humphrey series P fund these are located in the infrared regions. So what we observe the number of lines are reduced gradually because of you can see it is difficult to excite the electron from low energy to high energy such a farther extent but since the first line is very close to 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4 so the different spectral lines are formed. How to calculate the spectral lines if the value of n is 6 suppose then calculate the total number of spectral lines calculate the total number of what line a spectral lines if n equal to 6 then you put the formula a spectral lines n into n minus 1 divided by 2 6 into 6 minus 1 divided by 2 that means 30 by 2 how many lines are obtained 15 lines are obtained how can you prove it n is equal to 6 6 then 5 4 3 2 and what is that 1 6 if the n is 6, 5, 4, 9, 3, 12 to 14 plus 1. How many lines? 15 lines are formed. You apply the formula n into n minus 1 divided by 2. If n is equal to 5, if I take n is 5, then comes to the 4, 3, 2 and 1. How many lines are formed? 4, 3, 7 to 9 plus 1, 10 lines. If n is equal to 4, then energy comes from 3, 2 and 1. How many lines are obtained? 6. If n is equal to 3, then 2 and 1. How many lines? 2 plus 1, that is the 3. If n is equal to 2, then 1 line is obtained. What is that? So, you can calculate the different spectral lines 
by taking n into n minus 1 divided by 2. Based on these hydrogen spectrum, based on these spectrum, Ridman gave a mathematical formula. Ridman gave a mathematical formula to calculate wave number or frequency. Ridman gave a mathematical mathematical formula to calculate to calculate wave number or wavelength as for single electron system that means that contains one electron like hydrogen H2 1 positive helium 2 plus lithium 3 plus and so on so that formula is wave number is equal to reciprocal of the wavelength equal to Rydberg constant for hydrogen and hydrogen light particle this is 1 upon n1 ka whole square upon 1 upon n2 ka whole square this is what see what is n1 and what is n2 n1 and n2 are the integers and n1 is constant that is the name of the what is that discoverer or n2 is the variables so there are two lines n1 and n2 is the energy line taking to be the integers n1 is constant based on the name of the discoverer and then n2 is the variable and we take n2 with respect to the n1 what is R here? R is the Rydberg constant for hydrogen atom or hydrogen like particles and the value is 109677 centimeter minus 1. So dear students, you can solve the numerical by taking wave number is equal to 1 upon wavelength R that that. If question comes, calculate the you know wavelengths of limiting line limiting lines of what series balmer balmer series so if you are taking the balmer so wave number is equal to reciprocal of the wavelength r is the constant 1 upon what series? Lyman and then Balmer. Lyman is what n is equal to 1, then it is Lyman series. Or if n is equal to 2, then it is the Balmer. n is equal to 3, Bastion. n is equal to 4, bracket. Like this. So 1 upon 2 ka whole square or this limiting lines. Limiting line is called as, you know, uh, this is the limiting line is the lambda uh, 1 upon infinity this is what it is the uh, square it is cancelled out so limiting line is the infinity so ultimately your answer is r by 4 this is what it is the wave number or wavelength is equal to 4 by r reciprocal of that so the way you can calculate the wavelength or wave number I give you a table to understand you know very easy to understand it is the series here you can take N1 here you can take N2 so try to understand if I take the first series is the what series Lyman series second is the Balmer series, third is the Pastern series, next is the Bracket series, then it is the P Fund series, and then next is the what series? Although it is under discovery, Humphrey series. So Lyman series, N1 equal to 1, Balmer 2, 3, 4, 
5 and 6. So the adjacent line is 2, 3, 4 up to the infinity. 3, 4 and 5 up to the infinity. Then you can say 4, 5 and 6 up to the infinity. 5, 6 and 7 up to the infinity. Then you can say 6, 7 and 8 up to the infinity. 7, 8 and 9 up to the infinity. This infinity is known as what line? Limiting, limiting lines. So always n1 is constant. If the question comes calculate the ratio of the wavelengths of the first line of second line of the Lyman series and the third line of the Palmer series. If the second line of what series? Lyman. This is the second line. Second to our third. This is the second line. It is second line. And since the Lyman, so n1 is 1. And the third line of the Balmer series, so it is the third line. First, second and third line is like this. So you can calculate the ratio making the two equations and you compare it. You will get the ratio of the so Lyman, Balmer, Bastion, Bracket, P fund and Humphrey series. If you are putting a question on the Bastion series, tell me what is the value of N1? Lyman, Balmer, Bastion. N1 is 3. What is the second line of the Bastion series? Second line. This is the fifth is the second line of the Bastion series. What is the bracket series for N1? Is the fourth. But what is the third line of the bracket series? It is the seventh. Similarly here, what is the first line of the Lyman series? This is the two and n1 is 1. Because if question is Lyman series, then you can't change n1. n1 is always Lyman. n2 is always, um, you know, Bastion. If it is the 3, Bastion series. If it is 4, bracket, 5 and all that. The way you can calculate the various kind of simple numericals based on hydrogen spectrum and all that. And Next is the photoelectric effect. Effect. Take a piece of metal, alkali metals usually sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and strikes it by the photons of light. Then the electrons are ejected from the metal surface, is known as photoelectric effect. That was explained by the Henry Hertz approximately in 1880 approximately I hope so Henry Hertz when a strong beam of light strikes over the surface of metal Electrons are ejected from metal is called photoelectric effect. The minimum energy, the minimum energy needed, needed to cause the photoelectric effect is called threshold threshold energy and dear students that is noted by E naught. Similarly the minimum frequency is called the minimum frequency is called threshold frequency. Threshold frequency denoted by a new naught. During the photoelectric effect, not only the threshold, not only the energy, but kinetic energy is also involved. Let E is the total energy, including E naught plus what energy? Kinetic energy. 
So E is equal to E naught plus half M B square, but E is equal to H nu from the Planck's quantum theory. So E naught is equal to H nu naught. Say these two taken in equation second. Because of according to Planck's quantum theory, energy is directly proportional to the frequency of light. More the frequency, more the energy, but lesser the wavelength. See, H is what actually? It is the Planck's constant. Its value is mathematical numerical value is 6.6 .6 to 6 into 10 to power minus 34 joule second or kg m to s minus 1. Now, we use the frequency. E is equal to H nu, E naught is equal to H nu. Put, you know, these are the equation first, put second in one. Put second in one. Here students, here you can get these values. Finally, it is a piece of metal and then when the electrons, when the light, incident rate of light strikes over the surface of the metals, then the electrons are ejected these are known as photoelectrons and this is the piece of which is the piece of piece of metal so electrons this is these are the incident rays of light strikes over the metals electrons are the mobile or valence electrons are ejected from this point is known as photoelectrons so see put Second in one we get E is equal to H nu, H nu, H nu equal to H nu naught plus, what is that? Half MB square. So, H nu minus H nu naught is equal to, what is that? Half MB square. H nu, H is the common. Nu minus nu naught is equal to half and the square this new is the light frequency and this is the threshold frequency h is the Planck's constant if you are giving all these data then you can get what is that kinetic energy or this h new naught is equal to also known as work function or it is also denoted by like this it's the work function but the question is out of all the alkali metals, which has maximum, which has maximum, solve this question, maximum photoelectric effect, photoelectric effect, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, and cesium. I have not written the francium because it is a radioactive element. So, you remember in group 1, down the group, vertically placed elements, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and francium. You know the atomic number of lithium 3, sodium 11, 19, 37, 55 and no doubt francium is 87. So, down the group, atomic size is inversely proportional to the ionization in enthalpy. So, dear students here, greater the size, lesser the ionization energy and it's vice versa. The minimum energy needed to eject the electron from the loosely bounded last orbit is called as ionization and an enthalpy. So, which element has maximum photoelectric effect? Obviously, it is the cesium because of cesium has minimum ionization energy but but maximum photo electric effect that is why cesium is widely used in making photo voltaic photovoltaic cell this is all about the photoelectric effect so in nutshell i used to explain hydrogen spectrum and then Lyman, Balmer, Parson, Bracket, and P fund series. Then photoelectric effects and its mathematical derivation. Then electromagnetic spectrum, infrared, cosmic rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet rays, microwaves, and the radio waves. This 
it's all about you know from the atomic structure and the next area is force model of the atom containing merits and demerits as you can say pros and cons of the force model of the atom followed by the broglie equation and heisenberg's uncertainty principle and then quantum mechanics will take i hope it is clear to everyone have a nice day god bless you thank you very much